this is Stampy, and welcome to a series called How to Minecraft. In this series, I'm going to be explaining exactly how to play Minecraft and what Minecraft is. And I'm sure the majority of you watching this already know what Minecraft is and are probably playing almost every single day just like I do. And if that is the case, then these videos might not be for you. These videos are designed for people that have either never played Minecraft or have just started playing Minecraft and are struggling and might need a little bit of help. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the very beginning loading up a brand new world and showing how to survive your first night and then showing how to survive, how to mine, how to craft, how to build and then giving ideas for things that you could do within Minecraft just to make sure you don't get bored. And so let's start from the very basics then. Uh, I am playing here on the Xbox One. Uh, this version has just come out which is why I've decided to, to do this series uh, just so that way uh, there might be a lot of people that have just started playing Minecraft craft because of this new version and so it seemed like a, a good place to start. I'm going to be playing on survival and uh, there's two main modes uh, on Minecraft, on consoles anyway. Uh, creative which just allows you to have all of the materials at hand and it's basically just a place where you can build and it's not about survival, you don't have to worry about food or being attacked, it's just a place where you can be creative and build whatever you want. And then there's survival mode, which is what we're going to be doing, where you do need to worry about all of those things I mentioned. Uh, you can choose the difficulty. Uh, most people play on easy. Uh, you can do it on peaceful, which means that you don't need to worry about hunger and that there's going to be no baddies attacking you. Uh, but we're going to do easy for now. Uh, the texture packs basically just change the look of the game. So everything's the same, uh, but everything will look different. I'm going to keep it on the uh, the default texture pack, uh, just because that's what you're probably going to be playing on. And then there's some other settings about playing uh, with it online and seeds and other things like that. Uh, but for now, uh, we're not going to worry about that. I'm going to press create new wor uh, world, and then that way this world's going to load up. And uh, what it's basically doing now is generating a unique world. So the, more the world is procedurally generated, which means as you walk around your world in Minecraft, it's going to get created in front of you. And so almost every single world is going to be completely unique. So you never know uh, what you're going to get when you first load up your world. It could be mountains, there could be flatlands, there could be snow, there could be oceans. And so it's always quite exciting uh, when you first load up your world. But it's also one of the most important times. So Surviving your first night is always one of the most difficult things you can do and the first thing you need to do is punch a tree and so I'm going to be moving around with the left analog stick and turning with the right analog stick. If ever you're not sure of the controls you can just go to the menu and uh, go to controls and then you can see all of them so I'm not going to spend too long talking about specific controls because I don't know if you're playing on Xbox or on PlayStation uh, on the, uh, the mobile versions or PC. Uh, most of the things that I'm talking about uh, will carry across uh, through any of them, uh, but the controls will be slightly difficult. And the reason we're uh, punching a tree is because this is going to allow us to craft. And so uh, to craft, you need to gather the materials first, and then you craft most things using a crafting table. And a crafting table is made out of wood. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that later on. Uh, but first I want to talk about what you generally need to do on your first night. And it's all about survival. In the day, Minecraft is generally pretty safe. None of the googlies, the baddies in the game, or mobs as they're more, uh, more commonly called, uh, they don't spawn in the day. They only spawn where it's dark. So if you go into a cave under the ground or at night, there's going to be lots of enemies spawning and then you're going to need to deal with them. But you can skip the night and to skip the night you need a bed. And so my first thing I always do when I load up a new world is to try and make a bed. And to make a bed you need wool and wood and you get wool from sheep and you can shear sheep but to get shears you need um uh, you need to get some iron and you probably won't have any iron yet so we're not going to worry about that for now but first we're going to try and take out some of these sheep to try and get their wool and to do that i'm going to make a sword so you can see i made a crafting table i brought up the crafting menu and because i've got the uh, the wooden planks i need four wooden planks i can make a crafting table and place this down here and i can use this to make myself a wooden sword and you can see uh, on the bottom left hand corner of this crafting menu all of the materials i need to build something so say if i go to wooden sword i can see that i need one stick and two wooden planks if i press a it's going to be created if you're playing on the PC version, you need to actually arrange the materials as you can see them on the uh, on the bottom left of your screen here. On uh, the console versions and mobile versions, it does it for you, so it's that bit easier. And now, I need to go and try and take out the sheep, and it might seem a little bit mean, but remember, it's all about survival. And to make a bed, I need three pieces of wool, 
uh, as well as three wooden planks. But you can see now, I've already got myself three pieces of wool, and I've already got plenty of wood, so if I go back to my crafting table, I can go and make some more wooden planks, go across to the bed, and I now have a bed. And so I can see it down here in my quick select. I'm using the, the bumpers to switch through what I'm holding. If I look down and press the, uh, the left trigger, or it'll be the right mouse click if you're on PC, I can place the bed. And then if it got dark, I could click on the bed and it will allow me to sleep, but I can only sleep at night. But because I've got the bed, I know that as soon as it does become dark, I can place down the bed and immediately go to sleep and skip the night. But it would be better to be sleeping in a house. And uh, the first thing I want to do before building a house is to try and get a full set of tools. And uh, I can make wooden tools already, but wooden tools are the worst type of tools. They deteriorate really quick and they're not as effective as some other types. And so the first thing I want to do is try and make some stone tools. And uh, you can see there's plenty of stone around here. This grey rock, this is called stone. And so I want to find a good place where I can go and gather up a lot of stone. And over here uh, should do just fine. But to first gather the stone, I need to make a wooden pickaxe. So I'm going to place down my crafting table. I'm going to click it. I'm going to do the same thing as I did when I made the sword. I'm going to go along to the pickaxe. I need a bit more wood and I'm going to uh, make the pickaxe. And now I can go and gather up some stone. So I'm going to gather up quite a lot of this. And then I can make a full set of stone tools. You can make a pickaxe. Uh, you can make an axe. You can make a hoe. You can make a shovel and uh, a sword as well. And the sword is going to be very important uh, in case we do end up getting attacked a little bit later. And then the next thing I want to think about is food. You can see in the bottom of the screen, there's two main bars. There's the heart, that is how much health you have. And then there's the hunger, which is how hungry you are. If you're very hungry, that means that your health doesn't go up. And it also means that you can't sprint. So you're going to be moving around slowly. So you want to be constantly keeping an eye on both your health and your hunger to try and uh, keep them both as high as they can be. And so I've now gathered up a whole load of cobblestone. I can go back to my crafting table and I can go and try and make a full set of stone tools. So I need a few sticks for the handles and I can then go along to tools and weapons. I can make myself a stone shovel, uh, a stone pickaxe. I'm going to make myself an axe. I'm not going to worry about a hoe for now because uh, I probably won't need that for a little while. Actually, I'll, I'll make it anyway. I'll make it anyway just so I do have the full set. And then I can go and make myself a sword as well. And uh, the, the tools work in a few different ways. Pickaxes are used for breaking stone as well as things like sandstone, and they're also used for mining most materials. Shovels are used for breaking things like sand, or gravel, or dirt, and then swords are used for attacking people, and then axes are used for anything wooden. So this wooden uh, workbench, this uh, crafting table, sorry, uh, because it's made of wood, I use the axe and I'll gather it up even quicker than if I wasn't doing that. And so here we go, I got myself a full set of tools already, I got myself a bed, so I want to start thinking about where am I going to spend the night. And I always think for your first night, it's easiest to sleep in a cave. You can try and start building a proper house, uh, but that might be a little bit difficult. But finding a place like this uh, is absolutely perfect. There's a bit of a cave here already. So if I just go and dig this out a little bit, I can then go and just block off a little bit of the front. And then this will be my home. It won't be the, <laughs> the prettiest or the most luxurious home, but it should keep me safe in the night. And it doesn't have to be very big. You really just need to be able to fit uh, in a bed as well as a chest and a furnace. And I'm going to show you how you make them in a little bit. But first, I'm going to go and try and secure my house a little bit. So I'm going to put down my crafting table and I'll plonk that in the corner here for now. And I'm going to go make some wooden planks uh, as well as a doorway. And uh, I'm going to go and use this wood uh, as well as the, uh, the doorway to, to do the front here. So basically, I just need to look on a block or whatever block I'm looking at will have a little black outline, which means when I place this block, it's going to be placed on the side of that block. So that's how you build. So I just need to do these two blocks there. I need to look at the floor to place the door. I can then open and close it. But the googlies, the baddies, they won't be able to do the same. So I can grab my bed and plonk it inside. But uh, you may have noticed it's actually a little bit dark in here. And so there's two ways uh, to make torches, uh, which is the easiest way uh, to light up an area. Uh, you can either use charcoal, uh, which you uh, make by smelting uh, some wood. Or the easier way is by gathering coal. And coal looks like this. You see these little uh, black specks in this stone? Uh, this isn't actually stone. This is coal. And so if I go and get my pickaxe and I break away the coal, uh, you'll see that it starts dropping down. And I can use this coal for a few different things, uh, but its main use uh, is for making torches, which is the easiest and quickest way uh, of lighting up an area. So you can see I've now got five pieces of coal. 
All I need to do is make some wooden sticks, and I don't need a crafting table for this. I can then go along uh, to tools and weapons. Uh, if I press up and down, I can go and switch between what I'm looking at. And I can go to the uh, the coal torches, and I can go and make a whole load of these. And so I now have 16 torches, and I can go and place a few of them uh, in here just to light up the area. But now, I want to start thinking about food, as it is going to be getting dark soon. You can see the sun there. Once that goes and drops down over the horizon, it's going to be getting dark. And you can see that I've lost two and a half hunger bars. So I'm going to go and try and get myself some food. And uh, you can set up farms, which is the most effective way of getting food. Uh, but the chances are, on your first night, uh, you're not going to have a chance to do that. So the easiest way to do it is by killing some animals. So uh, once again, it's all about survival. You can't feel mean about doing this. It's just what you need to do to survive. So I was there able to take out the cows. On the console editions, killing sheep uh, won't give you any food. Uh, on the, uh, the PC version it will. But there's also, quite luckily, uh, some mushrooms down here. And you can't eat mushrooms just as they come. But you can gather them up, and then if you put them in a wooden bowl, you can make mushroom stew, which is a, quite a nice way uh, of being able to, to get food. And uh, you can also make yourselves a, a mushroom farm so you won't run out. Chicken uh, is also something else you can eat, so you can go and kill the chicken and uh, get yourself a bit of raw chicken. But you don't want to be eating the food raw. If you are really hungry and you have nothing else, uh, then you can eat the food raw. But the best thing to do uh, is to cook it in a furnace. So we're going to go back home and uh, put it in a furnace, and then that's how we're going to eat it. And uh, there's a few different ways that you run out of hunger. If you are hurt and uh, you're healing yourself, uh, then your hunger goes down quicker than normal. Also, if you're sprinting around like I am, that takes out your hunger. And also jumping. So if you're sprinting around jumping, which is the, uh, the quickest way to get around, uh, then your hunger will deteriorate. But because I now only have three hunger bars, I am walking very slowly. I can't sprint anymore, so I need to walk around really slowly like this to get back home. And by the looks of things, it's absolute perfect timing because the sun's going down, we can go home, have something to eat, and then once it becomes nighttime, uh, we can sleep and we would have survived our first night. Very easy. But first, I'm going to cook myself some dinner. So if I go to the crafting table, I need nine pieces of cobblestone and then I can make a furnace. So let me just go and make this furnace. Oh no, it's six, seven, no, it's eight pieces of uh, cobblestone, sorry. I can make myself a furnace and then all I need to do is place that in the exact same way I place the crafting table. And then I can take my raw food here. I got my raw beef. And if I place that in the top here where it says ingredient, then I can take my piece of coal and put that in where it says fuel. And uh, you can see there's the little fire there cooking it. And then this arrow, once that fills across, uh, that's going to cook the beef. And I might actually go and uh, grab a little bit more coal uh, just while that's cooking. I think I saw some more up here. And as you can see, I can't reach that, uh, uh, that coal. And so I'm going to do something called nerd piling, which means you look directly at the floor and then you jump and place a block. And that way you can get up higher in the air and it's just a very easy way of doing it. And then when you need to get back down, you can just look directly down and just dig. And uh, then you're going to, yeah, to be able to get back down to the floor. So I'm just going to grab uh, a little bit more coal uh, just to make sure I don't run out. And then I'm going to go in because as you can see, it is starting to get very dark. The sun has almost gone over the horizon, which means I should be able to, to sleep soon. So I'm going to go back inside. I'm going to go and look in my furnace. I'm going to see if I've got any beef. There we go. It's almost all cooked. Uh, if I just press Y on it, uh, rather than uh, dragging it down, I can quickly move it down here. Uh, if you're on the PC, uh, if you hold Shift and click on it, uh, then you're going to move it straight down into your inventory rather than having to drag it. I go and hold the food. I hold the left trigger. Uh, you'll be holding the uh, right mouse button if you're on PC. And then I eat up the food. And you can see my hunger bar has already gone up to full. And I can now click on the pillow of the bed and I'm going to fall asleep. And I have now managed to survive my first night in Minecraft. And I know I went through some of that very quickly, um, but if you follow this guide, uh, you should be easily able to survive your first night as well. Just remember, the most important thing is to make yourself a bed. You want to try and get the wood and get three pieces of wool so you can craft a bed. We were nice and we had a little house here so we could sleep inside. Even if the bed was just lying out in the middle of nowhere, as soon as it becomes dark, as long as you sleep very quickly before there's a chance for any mobs to spawn, uh, you will still be able to sleep. So you don't need to build a house. It's always just a little bit nicer uh, to have a house and then you're uh, set up ready for the next day. 
Right, so that's going to end uh, this first episode of How to Minecraft. In the next episode, I'm going to go deeper on how to survive in Minecraft and the first activities you should do uh, when you've just loaded up a new world. But hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it useful. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!